A targeted focus on development and innovation in education will be further supported by allocations announced in the 2024 budget address by Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre. The need for accessibility, relevance, and responsiveness in the shaping of policy was highlighted as the impetus for directing funding across the education sector. According to Prime Minister Pierre, key areas of financial focus in education include infrastructure, ICT, early childhood education, curriculum strengthening, school security, technical and vocational training, revision of the Education Act, the Principal Assistant Program, and support for the pursuit of tertiary education through the provision of scholarships. Mr. Speaker, this year we will undertake $22.5 million in major repairs and in rehabilitation of schools. We have commissioned a new facility for care in, in cul-de-sac, financed by a $1 million U.S. grant from the government of the Republic of India, for which we thank them. Mr. Speaker, in the first phase of digital content development in six subject areas has been completed. Other interventions outlined will include a security audit of national schools commencing with eight institutions to ensure the safety of school plants. In addition, four secondary schools will be transformed into technical and vocational education and training TVET institutions. Expressing an equivocal support for the areas of focus and financing allocated in his contribution to debate on the 2024 2025 Appropriations Bill, Minister for Education, Honorable Sean Edward, outlined plans by the government to provide the support necessary from the start of every child's educational journey. An estimated 23% of the 3,460 students currently enrolled in early childhood centers are at state-run institutions. We have children in our system who do not have that enabling environment at home. And the early childhood centers to which they report on a daily basis have proven to be precisely what they need, Mr. Speaker, to grow up and to be nurtured as children who will eventually become productive citizens. The Prime Minister, not being asked to do so by the technocrats of the Ministry of Education or being chided by the Minister of Education, but after the figures were presented to him on his own volition, in the first instance, the Prime Minister saw it necessary to make a one-time contribution, Mr. Speaker, of $2,500 to each of the 93 private registered early childhood centers in this country. According to the Education Minister, from 2021 to date, the government of St. Lucia has awarded 752 higher education opportunities to nationals, an effort anticipated to directly benefit national development. 70 students will further expand that figure this year. A total of 440 university scholarships. And Mr. Speaker, a total of 312 bursaries to students attending the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, Mon Campus, Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, Southern Extension, the Viewport Comprehensive Cape Program. Go and take your place and sit in the walls of, of those universities, whether it's in Morocco, Cuba, or wherever else in the world, and come back and serve your country. In a push to ensure the validity of foreign institutions seeking to offer educational services on island, in excess of $340,000 has been assigned to the establishment of the National Accreditation Council, which will be charged with regulating standards of operation. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Kiba Talium reporting.